Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what is the difference between ID attribute and name attribute? Let me answer. Both of these attributes, that is ID and name attributes, belong to HTML, that is hypertext markup language. So what is the purpose of using this ID attribute or name attribute in HTML code for web elements? I'm going to explain in this session. First, let's start with the ID attribute. So ID attribute is for uniqueness, okay? The purpose of using ID attribute in HTML code for uh, web elements is for uniqueness, for uniquely identifying a particular element on the page, we specify this ID attribute in the HTML code of that element, okay? I'll, I'll explain this uh, practically. For example, I'll open this browser and uh, take you to this sample application, say omai.blogspot.com. On this application, you see there's a text area field, okay? If you want to uniquely identify this text area field, okay, there are a lot of elements on this page. You see there is a text box field, there's a button, there's an image, there are radio buttons, checkbox fields, drop down field, multi-selection, like that many things are there on this page, but out of all these web elements that are there on this page, if you want to uniquely identify this text area field, as a developer of this application, I have to specify the ID attribute in the HTML code of this element, okay? Let's see whether the developer of this application has provided any unique uh, attribute value for this text area field with the help of ID or not. Let's see that, okay? Right-click inspect. It's not compulsory that every element will have ID. So as I already know, as I already have used this application, I know that this particular field has uh, ID attribute spe specified in the HTML code of this element, okay? You see, text area ID is called TA1. So, out of all these elements, if you want to uniquely identify this text area field, since the HTML code of this particular text area field has the ID attribute, you can uniquely identify, okay? TA1 is a unique ID attribute value, okay? So that you can use for locating this element, fine. So no other element on this page has that, but it's not compulsory that ID cannot be duplicated, okay? There, there is no uh, HTML kind of, uh, you know, HTML kind of rule uh, like, uh, uh, multiple elements cannot have the same ID. It's not like that, okay? It's not recommended though, okay? It's not recommended for developers to give the same ID attribute value for multiple elements on the page. That's not a good uh, way of uh, writing the code and all. But the HTML will not restrict uh, the developers from doing that, okay? Even though they choose multiple elements and they provide uh, same ID to multiple elements, HTML will accept. But it's not recommended, I'm saying, okay? Uh, because ID is for uniqueness. What is the use if you provide the same ID attribute value for multiple elements on the page? That's the problem, okay? So the purpose of the ID attribute, why we have to specify for the web elements uh, the HTML is for uniqueness, for uniquely identifying that particular element, we use ID attribute, okay? Hope you got the idea, what is ID? What about name attribute then? Name attribute is used for specifying the name for an HTML element. If you want to name someone, okay? Uh, before coming to name, let's go with ID again. I'll, I would like to give a small example, okay? To compare ID with name, right? I would like to give a small example, okay? That is, uh, let's say, uh, you have joined a company and uh, they, they will give you some employee ID, okay? Because you are the new employee to the company, they will give you some ID card. Uh, on the ID card, you will see your employee ID number. That ID is going to be unique. That ID number is going to be unique. No other uh, employees in the same company will have the same ID, okay? Only you will be having the same ID. Their employee ID is the uniqueness. Here, ID attribute in HTML code is also for uniqueness, okay? Hope you got the idea. What about name? You see, in the whatever the company you joined, with your name, there may be other employees, okay? There's a possibility that uh, multiple employees in the same company can have the same name, okay? There's a possibility. So name is not for uniqueness. Whether ID is for uniqueness, name attribute is not for uniqueness. Name is only for naming you, okay? Even though your name is duplicated, but still we have named you something, right? Your name is something, okay? So whatever the name you have, that is, that can be, uh, you know, uh, other people may have that same name, okay? So name attribute is used for specifying the name for an HTML element. This is for naming, this is for uniquely identifying, okay? That's the main difference between the ID and name attribute. And uh, why we use name attribute then? Why we have to name a web element? There are different purposes, okay? Why we have to name a particular element? Apart from giving the ID for the element, you can also name the element. What is the reason behind naming? There are several reasons. A few reasons I have uh, mentioned here name attribute for grouping, okay? Why we have to name the attribute for grouping, grouping the radio buttons or checkbox field, okay? Mainly the radio buttons you can say, okay? So I'll tell you what will happen, okay? So I'll open this application URL and here there are two options, male and female options are there, okay? Right click inspect, one of the radio button. 
Okay, so have the option in the Google Chrome DevTools, right? You have the option to edit this uh, temporarily. So here there is a name provided. You see, name is equal to gender. For these two radio buttons, same name is there. You see, for the radio button male, name is equal to gender is there. For the radio button female also, name is equal to gender is there. Okay. What if I remove this name from this? Okay, I will edit this code. Tem this is a temporary change. Okay, it's not permanent. I'll just remove this name from these two radio buttons. Okay. Now in this case, this radio buttons doesn't have the same name. In this case, I can select two options. Is this the correct behavior of the radio buttons? Either you can select male or female. But in this case, what happening? Since I have not named this uh, radio button separately, like name is equal to gender, name is equal to gender, like that, I'm able to select uh, both the radio buttons, which is not correct. If I refresh, the temporary changes will be gone. Again, it will reset. Now you see, since they have the name attribute, common name attribute is there for these two radio buttons, only one radio button you can select. Same applies for the checkbox fields also. You can have, you can group them under a single name, okay? Here also bike, bicycle, car have the same, okay? Same name attribute value. Just inspect one of the radio button and see name is called vehicle, name is called vehicle, name is called vehicle, okay? All the three radio, radio buttons have the same name. So you can select only one option out of these three radio buttons, okay? Like that. So this is one of the advantage of uh, using name attribute for naming the, for grouping uh, kind of elements like radio buttons, checkbox fields, etc. Okay. The other situation where you have to name the web elements is uh, in the HTML forms. Okay. So for example, if I take you to this application and on this application, if I take you to the login, this is a login form. Okay. On the login form, you have the email address, password and login button. On the form, you have this email, password and login button. Okay. So fine. So when, when there is a form, when you click on the login button, this data will be submitted to the server. Okay. From the client machine client laptop or something, you are entering the email address, password, and clicking on the login button. This data need to reach the server, right? So these are the form elements. Whenever they reach the server, server need to know from which field, which data came. Okay. For that, we have to name these fields. Okay. Inspect this email address field and uh, you'll see that uh, there will be some name. Name is equal to email is there. Okay. Uniquely identifying this, uh, you know, for uh, server need to identify from which field, uh, which data came. Okay. Along with this name attribute, you'll, some data will be sent to the server. Okay. So server can identify that from email address field, we got this value, okay, like that, okay. So that for that purpose, uh, name will be provided, name is called password. Not only this, if you go to the register uh, page also, here a lot of fields are there, this is a, uh, this is a form actually, behind this uh, field there is a form, you see here it's part of a form, form, you see, this is the entire form, register form, and if you see each and every field will have some name, okay, name is called first name, form elements will have the name. Name is called last name like that. Okay, so so that server can uniquely identify uh, or uh, server can understand like from which feed which data came after submitting this registering registering account or uh, after clicking on login button with details the data will be sent to the server and uh, multiple sets of data multiple amount of data will be sent. Now server need to find out from which feed which data came. For that name is required name attribute is required and these are few instances where name attribute is used for specifying the name for a HTML web element. Now, there are several purposes ap apart from this, okay? And there are many more, but I don't want to go deep into this. So this much is enough for you to answer this interview question, okay? So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.